Hi you guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Terra Station wallet so that way you can interact in the Terra Luna network. Let's go. Alright guys, welcome back to Passive Income Group where we show you some of the best ways that you can generate passive income in the digital space. And today we are going to show you how to set up your Terra Station wallet. And Terra Luna Network has been exploding right now. And just to give you an idea, they are actually the industry leading decentralized stablecoin UST. They're actually known for the Anchor Protocol, which basically pays you nearly 20% uh, annually a year on your stablecoin, which is very powerful. And you can actually look up the news. Uh, they actually recently purchased a large amount of Bitcoin to back their UST stablecoin, which is something that's very, very uh, exciting and puts a lot of confidence to the community that's actually supporting so before you interact with all these different smart contract protocols that can produce you a yield you definitely need to interact with these smart contracts with Terra station so to find that you want to go to terra.money and at the very top you want to click on learn and click on Terra station once you click on Terra station this page will populate right here this is your Terra station wallet at a glance but because you don't have your wallet set up yet, you don't have anything populating. So what you want to do is click on tutorial right here on the bottom left. So once you click on this, it's going to redirect you to the Terra Station docs. And this kind of shows you uh, an idea of how to either download your Terra Station wallet all the way down to swapping coins within the wallet. So I love how simple this really is. You can either download the, the tutorial yourself or you can click on create a wallet and it's going to show you a web-based version on step-by-step -step how to set up your wallet. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna give you a visual tutorial so that way you have a better idea. So let's go back to the beginning of this docs right here and click on download station. And you can actually download it for your desktop, you can have a Chrome extension or do it on your mobile device, whether it's iOS or Android. Uh, right now, I actually use a Chrome extension. All of them operate the exact same way. The instructions are pretty much identical, but I'm gonna show you the Chrome extension version. So let's say you click on Chrome extension and you're gonna need Chrome browser. So hopefully you have that already. Most of you do, but if you don't, make sure you have Chrome uh, downloaded to your computer or your desktop or your, your laptop. And once you're done, you want to go ahead and visit the Terra Station web extension. So you're gonna click on that and once you click on that it's going to have a button right here that's going to say the word download i already actually have it downloaded already so it's going to say remove from chrome but for you if you haven't downloaded it you're just going to click on download right here once you're done doing that it's going to pop up on the right side you're going to see this little icon right here it looks like a puzzle piece and you're going to go and click on that and it's going to pop up Terra station now I recommend what you want to do is you want to pin it so that way it's always in the front right here and you want to click on it and what you want to do is you want to create a new wallet for yourself so once you do that a new page is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you to write down uh, to name your wallet so in this case I'm gonna just call it demo wallet and then you're gonna create a password okay so in this case I just want to do it for demonstration purposes and you want to create a password that is something that only you know, but you want to make sure that you write it down, that it's secure, that no one else can actually figure it out. Once you're done doing this, it's going to create a mnemonic phrase on your behalf, and you are going to need to write the mnemonic phrase down because this is very important because uh, if you end up losing your wallet or you misplace it or you uh, happen to not be able, you can't figure out the password, the only way that you can get back inside your wallet and uh, have access to your digital assets inside your Terra Station wallet is through uh, repopulating your mnemonic phrase that is specific to you only. So make sure that you write it down uh, that's been populated on your behalf. Okay, once you're done writing down and you stored it somewhere else, uh, you wanna go ahead and actually click on, I have written down the mnemonic and double check all the words and then click submit once you click submit it's going to test you on uh, making sure that you wrote everything down correctly so it's going to ask for for example this one right here right in front of you you see it says 20 second uh, word some of you might see 17 word or the 11th word 
So you wanna look from left to right and start counting. One, two, three, in this case, I have to count up to number 22. And then I'm gonna have to click the word that actually is dropped at number 22. And then this one right here is gonna test me on the second time. This one says, what's the 13th word? I'm gonna count from left to right. And, um, and then I'm gonna pick that one. Once I'm done, you wanna click submit and you are absolutely set up for Terra Station. Now, once you're done setting up Terra Station, it's really simple at this point is that you actually can access it through your Chrome browser, or you can actually click it right here on the Chrome extension and uh, click on it and it's gonna pop up like a little small little section right there. Now, at the very top in the blue, it's going to be your specific public wallet address. So you can actually share this with anybody and that's fine. And this is a receiving wallet address and it's a universal wallet address for all the different tokens within the Terra Luna network. So if you actually have Luna, you can actually send it to this specific wallet address and it will capture it and you will be able to receive it. If you have UST, even though it's the same wallet address, it will accept it, it'll capture it, and it'll pop up right here. On the bottom, you can click on add tokens and there's all the different tokens within the Terra Luna network that you can add right here. And you can always copy the contract address on CoinGecko or on um, CoinMarketCap. You can paste it right here and it'll populate if you don't see it on here as well. Another feature that you need to learn is clicking on add a wallet. Here, it'll show you all the different things you can do when it comes to adding a wallet. For example, you can create a new wallet which means you already have an existing wallet, but you can create another one, like another checking account, if you will, right? You can have multiple wallets within the Terra Station network. In addition to that, if you forgot your login credentials, like your password and stuff like that, you can click on recover a wallet and you can put in your mnemonic phrase like we mentioned earlier, and you can recover it by creating a new password if you need to. You can import another wallet in here. So if you have another wallet that you wanna import in here, you can go and click on that and put the mnemonic phrase in there. Multisig actually increases your protection as well and you can access with Ledger if you have a Ledger Nano or a Ledger based product that's a hardware wallet, you can actually have it connected to that Ledger as well. So hopefully this video helps and gives you a quick idea how to do a quick start of how to set up your Terra Station wallet. Remember, if you need step-by-step -step instructions that's written down, you can always go ahead and actually download the tutorial uh, when you actually go ahead and click on that tutorial button on the left side that redirects you to the docs and you can either download it or you can click on the web version instructions and have it walk you through step by step. So hopefully this helps and thank you so much for actually following this channel. Take care. See you in the next video.